What's up? This is Richie from the Where We Wild YouTube channel and today we're going to take one of the most realistic baits ever made and make it even more realistic. Let's get into it, man. Alright, the Huddleston Deluxe. Pretty much the greatest soft plastic swim bait of all time. Made famous by the master Butch Brown. And that's exactly where I learned this from. This is how he he um, modifies them and, and makes them look even more realistic. I may not do as good a job as him because he is an absolute animal, but uh, I'm going to do my best. Alright, so you're going to need a few things to do this. You're going to need an X-Acto knife, some sort of razor blade. You're going to need a pipe cleaner, some scissors, a little super glue, maybe some tweezers. And uh, you might possibly, one of the techniques uh, requires a lighter, but you can probably get around that. We will see. All right, so the whole point here is we're gonna add the gills here. We're gonna pop these fins out, make it a little more realistic. So let's try to get it done fairly quickly. And we're gonna start off here. You'll see a V-shape gill pattern underneath this. And we're basically just gonna start there, cut all the way around, start there, cut all the way around, and then cut these fins out. Add in the gills. And uh, that's pretty much it, man. So let's get going here. Brand new Huddleston, baby. I'm nervous. I hate cutting into these things. They're, they're not cheap. They're not cheap. So we're just gonna follow this V shape here. I'm gonna go a little bit. You'll see very, very uh, defined lines here. And instead of going right on that line, I'm gonna go just a little bit on the outside of it, just to give myself a little bit more room and I'm just kind of running it right along the outside there I'm just kind of keeping the knife at an angle And I'm just running it up right to the end of their line there. Just like that. So it's just kind of cut open. You can see that. Do the same thing on the other side. I'm just gonna find my line here. I'm just kind of keeping my thumb on the plastic so it Kind of stays in place. I'm just outlining it, following the line that's drawn on there already. Makes life pretty easy. Just like that. <clears throat> okay, you see how that's all, all open now? And then we're gonna take the fins. Take care of that. And we're just gonna outline those as well. Start with the top here, a little outside them. Kind of give it a little, little bit of room up front. Leave that front part of the fin start just a tiny little bit next to it and we're just going to run that keep the knife down at an angle we're basically just kind of scooping underneath it a little bit so you can see that I'm just coming right to the end of the fin there and we're going to do the same thing on the bottom it's hard to uh, figure out which angle to hold this thing out here. And I'm basically just trying to push this knife through it instead of sawing my way through it. Seems to work pretty good that way once you get going. 
All right, so you see how that just kind of flaps open like that? So we're basically just gonna scoop underneath with the knife and just gently detach that fin so you can pull it up like that. And now once you can pull it up, you might have to go underneath it just a little bit and just take a little bit, a couple more cuts. Just like that so it can flap out. One more should do it. That's good. Nice. Same thing on the other side. Start with the top. Push in and we're just going to drag straight through. And I'm trying not to push like too, too deep. Just deep enough. Just flaps open like that. Oh, that one I don't even have to cut. Just take a tiny little bit more as I pull this thing back. Just like that. Perfect. All right, that's it for all our cutting. Not so bad. And now we're gonna start with the pipe cleaner and the gills. And so what we're gonna do here so we're gonna just tuck this thing in as far as we can and just measure it. I might even, you wanna make that, that cut nice and deep in there so this thing can stick in as far as possible. You don't want the gills sticking out because fish don't really look like that. They're protected by that pleat, but you want the gills to pop out a little bit just from the, the bottom, so. Let's tuck this thing in here and just see how deep we can get it in. And if we need to cut the cut it a little deeper, that's nice. Then that's what we'll do. Alright, so I'm basically just measuring it out like this. And I'm just gonna put a little little crimp in it where I think it should be cut. Let's just roll that thing back in there. I'm trying to give you a good view of it, so it's kind of hard for me to see the front there. It might still be a little too long here. Okay, I'm still just the tiniest, tiniest bit too long. Actually, start from this side here. There we go. That looks pretty darn good. Just the tiniest little bit sticking out. Just want to get that pushed in as much as you can. All right, now there's there's two ways to go about this next part here. That looks pretty pretty awesome, right there. Now you can either glue this in as you're placing it, like I as I was just placing that in there, and then you can take a lighter and you can open it up and singe the inside of that because when you do that to these pipe cleaners, they turn a dark red and they look wet and they look even more realistic, which is pretty awesome. Or you could just drop super glue in 
and that'll make it wet and also get it to stick in there nice. So let's try that. It's kind of hard to do it with the lighter sometimes because you can very easily melt the soft plastic. Looks pretty sick. See, so it just kind of gives it that wet, more realistic look, if you can see that. Pipe cleaner is usually really fluffy, you know what I mean, and dry looking. So when you cover it with the super glue or you glue it in first, smack it with the lighter, and it's gonna give it that, that real kind of wet, realistic look, which is what we want. And I'm just really soaking it. Tuck it in that tiny little corner. That looks pretty awesome, man. So from the top, very, very realistic. If you can see that. There's a little bit coming out at the right angle, but it's protected and it's not sticking out like really, really unnatural looking. See that? Pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna let this set up for a second, flip it around to the other side. See how that looks from underneath. It's pretty sick. Alright. Let's hit this part. Just measuring. Just takes a second to get that to sit in there. See what happens? Like if you don't push that in all the way, it pops out and looks like that. But you want it tucked. Now the first couple times that I did this, I was like laying the glue in first. And uh, it kind of made my life a little difficult because it sets up so fast. And once it starts sticking, you're, you're pretty much done. All right, I'm happy with that. That looks cool. All right, so we're just gonna run our glue. I'm basically just pushing down with the glue bottle at the same time. Yeah, that looks pretty awesome, dude. 
That looks pretty awesome. Just tuck in this tiny little bit right here. So I'm talking about sun. Yeah, that's sick, dude. That is sick. And you can see how it looks from that side and the outside angles. It's pretty awesome. Nice and tucked in, but right at that right angle there. You can see what's going on inside. This looks like it's getting set up a little bit. Yeah, that looks good. Another good trick too, you know, like I said, is burning that pipe cleaner with a lighter. Singes it, makes it a dark red. And uh, you can also do that to the eyeballs too. Once you fish these, uh, the eyeballs are going to get cloudy and all you got to do is just hit hit it with a lighter real fast and it'll clear it back up for you. Now we just got to set up these fins real fast. And it's game over, dude. So what we're going to do here is all you're doing very simply is you're just flicking these open. You're going to just put a little bit of glue right at the base of where that fin sits. Just a little bit. And as that gets hard, it's gonna help keep this fin popped up. You might have to play with it a little bit as it sets up. Every once in a while, just kind of pull back on it. But eventually, it makes a little hard piece down in the middle, right underneath it, and it's just gonna pop it up. So the fin ends up sitting just a little bit stuck out, just like that. And you can put something like a paper towel, something like that, you know what I mean? Just to kind of prop it up while it dries. But that's really all it is. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. A little bit. We're right back on it. That's all it is, man. That's all it is. I might actually try that with a paper towel. Just make sure that no glue is uh, is gonna hit it. Is all. Just might help as it sets up. All right, just gonna let this glue dry up a little bit and a uh, couple minutes, show you the final product here. All right, so we're all set up here. Everything looks really, really good. You can see the fins are just, they just have that slight little pop out. And you can play with them a little bit, maybe get them to stick out a little bit more if you want to, but that glue just kind of popped them out a little bit, makes them a little bit more realistic and those gills are just awesome, dude. See how they're just cut in right around the side. Gill plate is still hiding them, so it's really, really natural. But right at that correct angle, man, you can see what's going on in there. It just looks so sick, man. So sick. I'm trying to give you like a good angle where you could see how it looks from the back. Pretty awesome, man. Just right at that right angle, you can see inside there. See those gills? I don't get much more realistic than that, dude. I'll tell you. That thing is alive. 
pretty sweet so there you go man take a shot try it out for yourself maybe practice on uh, an old beat up one at first instead of a brand new one out of the out of the packaging just to get some practice and get the nerves out of you because you know these things are not cheap man when you're taking a blade to them right out of the package it's a little nerve-wracking just unbelievable how realistic man really adds something to it i mean these baits are so realistic to begin with but when you add that that little touch to it man it is just alive it's just unbelievable so yeah man let me know what you think if you have any questions feel free to hit me up in the comments and yeah try it out for yourself man it's amazing bait huddleston deluxe catches giants buddy catches giants if you enjoyed this video don't forget to drop a like and if you're into this sort of thing don't forget to hit subscribe we put a new video out every single week thanks so much for watching see you next time later how awesome does this thing look dude come on That is just ridiculous. Ridiculous, man. If you want to see more videos just like this one, be sure to check out the rest of the Where We Wild YouTube channel, where we post a brand new video every week. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you get notified whenever we post a new adventure. Thanks for watching. See ya.